New Yorkers are never afraid to be themselves and express their style. And that's what this series is all about. Meeting real New Yorkers who I'll be sharing my tips and tricks with. Welcome to We Make Up New York. Hi, I'm Maybelline's global makeup artist, Erin Parsons, and I'm here with the gorgeous Emma. How are you? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good. This is really funny, like doing this whole Zoom makeup thing, but I'm excited to teach you a fun winged liner look. So. I'm excited to learn, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Now, just to get you acquainted with Maybelline's audience, can you tell me where in New York you live, what you do for a living. Of course, so I live in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. I've been there for about two years now and I work as an actress, singer, and songwriter. Okay, so let's start with foundation. We're gonna use the Superstay foundation. Do you know which one was your perfect match? Yes, I have 362 here. The one suggestion I guess I could make is um, because on deeper skin, I love to keep the warmth around the face and keep the highlights in the center. Um, so whenever you put the foundation yeah, I gotcha. on, I think it's good to sort of dab more towards the center. And then when you blend out, it becomes more sheer. So you keep all that warmth where the sun hits. Do you know what I mean? Little tips and tricks. I love it. <laughs> okay, so you can go ahead and just start to dab on your foundation and grab your brush. You know what, too, you have such pretty skin, you don't need a ton of coverage, so you just add where you really need a little bit. Gotcha. Yeah, that looks like the perfect Ooh. match. That's really nice. And I should go on my neck a little bit? Yeah. You definitely want to bring everything down so every part of you matches. Looks great. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna move on to concealer. Do you have the Instant Age Rewind? I have a deep bronze. Okay, great, perfect. We'll do under the eyes. We'll do a bit on the chin and a bit on the forehead and one little stripe down the nose. We're gonna highlight you. How much is too much? Is this so okay? bad? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how, how it blends out. You can always take a bit away. Yeah, and then just you, exactly. Yep, yeah, perfect. So we can go in with a sponge. I think that's gonna take a little coverage away, so that might even be better, because you were like, okay. how much is too much? <laughs> That'll help it just to blend easier, so okay. go for it. And it's just like a like a dab? Yeah, exactly. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous, love. Okay, that looks so good. Why don't we go ahead and use some powder and we'll just set everything. Oh, do you have the Super Stay powder? I actually don't have one here with me. I do. Okay, perfect. And actually, if you lift up the um, powder and there's a mirror under there and a little sponge, so you could even just use what comes with it. Great, and that's that's perfect. You can really get all the T-zone and just mattify. This definitely gives some good coverage, so you are gonna be, you're gonna be ready for even the stage if you're using some of these together because the skin is like, so, so pretty. Moving on to brows, um, we're going to use the Brow Ultra Slim, and I believe you have deep brown. I do. The shade. Go a little under the brow and on top of the brow, so you'll fatten that part out, That so that way this mm -hmm. matches this. And then also even to, again, me being control freak, but even when you use the spoolie, just really softly go through the hair versus pressing too hard on the skin, because then you, you can soften it, but if you press too hard, you'll kind of wipe away the pigment, so. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so you have the brow fast sculpt and this is in clear. So you can just set the brow hairs in place. Brush up, brush over, brush down. That's how I always do it. Well, some people like to put all the hairs straight up. Sometimes I'll do that on myself. So there's different ways, but I think this is natural. Have you ever cut your brow with concealer or you clean it up a bit with concealer? I have never done that. It's very simple. Basically, you just take your Instant Age Rewind Concealer have a little bit of a flat brush, and then you'll dip into the top there. And you're just gonna go right underneath the brow. So just right underneath the arm? Mm -hmm. Exactly, just where you want to sort of sharpen where you've drawn in the brow. Yeah, that's looking great. If you use a concealer like the Instant Age Rewind, it's gonna make it look more natural since it's not such a heavy, heavy coverage. And then you can actually take that concealer and you can just go all over your eyelid too because we'll, we'll then go on with shadow so it works great as a shadow base. Because you have a natural shadow to your eye anyway, so this is a great way to sort of blank it out and start with a blank canvas so that way anything that we put on it just pops even more. Okay, this is the tough part, but we, we can take our time, we can work together. Let's grab the Tattoo Studio pencil and then you can trace out your line and then you can just draw your point out and then gotcha. you'll start okay. to connect. And I think you can, yeah, and you can go sort of 
far out because I think we're gonna make this quite a wing. Since you have that, then you just take from the top uh, corner and you start to draw inward. And if you need to pull your eye a bit, you totally can. It makes it easier, right? Yeah. It's good, you can just sketch it. I just find it's easier with the pencil because yes. it doesn't feel so like stressful. <laughs> Liquid can be a little stressful. You know what might be good too? We could start one eye, really perfect it, and then we'll match the other eye to it. Fill in that corner there, and then you can pull and just go all the way to the inner bit. Just keep that part more thin. Go for it. And we'll start with the top liner and show a sort of daytime liner, and then we'll kick it up a notch. Cute! Oh, this is good! Oh, I'm so impressed, I'm so impressed. <laughs> now do you wanna just match the other side to this side? I think if you need a little sharpening, you have that Q-tip there, and you can just go in and sort of sharpen yeah. the edge a bit. Oh, it looks pretty good. The next step is very easy. Well, one, because we're gonna use hyper easy, but also because you already drew your first step of the wing, so now you can just go right in with your hyper easy liquid liner and just follow and trace that. So what you can do for your very outer corner, then turn the pen this way, and you just use the tip to just grow inward. That way you get that sharp outer corner. Exactly. Yeah, so if you can just get your little, your tear duct, it just sort of elongates the eye. We'll add some pencil on the bottom anyway, but that, that's such a pretty shape. We are going to go into the Nudes of New York palette and the color, I think we can do the color Globetrotter. Just dip in and then what you're gonna do is just follow the contour of your eye. So if you really feel where the orbital of the eye is. Yeah. And it's like, you don't really have to pay attention to your actual crease, you can just feel the brush goes into that section. And this is also why we laid down the concealer, just so this really glides on. It's pretty and neutral, and but somewhat warm, so. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I would wear, like every day. Yes, like every day. yes. Yeah. This is, here's your everyday. Even with this wing, this is a good daytime wing. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take the same brush I'm using and just sort of wipe kind of onto a towel or whatever is, you know, tissue and then just go back in and just blend out like the edges there. Okay, cool, so we can go on to part two of this wing. I'm gonna grab that hey. pencil again. All you have to do for this part is go inside the eye and then a bit under the eye. So start by lining inside and then we'll sort of make it thicker and smoke it out a bit, but you can start um, on the inside there. Okay, cool. And don't even be shy with that. You can really even get it all into the lashes. Kind of that like cool girl smudged out smoky liner. That looks awesome. Yeah. That looks great. Cool, so now is a very simple next step, mascara. You can just pump up your lashes top and bottom. This makes your lashes mega volume, so. Go for it, don't be shy. Now I just have one last little step just to make them pop a touch more and we're just gonna go back to the concealer. Just take a thin brush and just lightly under the wing just to sort of sharpen and make it pop. You don't have to go too close to the wing but just a little under just to make it really stand out. Wonderful, beautiful. Thank you. Fabulous job. Eyes for me are done but I believe you have Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Topaz. And we can get the bridge of the nose here. You can even go a little touch under the brow, Cupid's bow, and then um, cheekbones. Okay. You can go like this, just back and forth. Mm-hmm. And if it at all becomes too much, you just take your fingertips and you can sort of soften it out. You said on my nose a little bit? Yep, just down the center. So you'll just go like this. And just stay right just here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Like a pro. Okay, yeah, great. That's looking gorgeous. And you can just blend out anywhere there's like too much highlighter. Exactly. The skin, this is what I love when the skin just glistens and glows and you don't really see the highlighter, you just see beautiful skin. Well, there's literally one step left. And because it's all about your eyes, all about gorgeous skin glowing, I want the lips pretty much to stay nude. We're gonna go in with the Lifter Gloss and you have the color Stone. Yes. yes. Now we can keep this simple. You just go ahead and put it on, 
rub the lips together. If it's uh, too much, you can dab it out. But I love this gloss too, because it has hyaluronic acid, so it is gonna keep the lips really moisturized. So you can just wear this all day. Yes. That's really pretty. And what's nice too, you can even sort of take your fingertip and dab out the edges just so your natural lip line shines through. I love that you have that. Exactly. See, I told you to be simple. <laughs> it was, it was. <laughs> Finally, one thing simple. <laughs> well, that basically is the look. How are you feeling? I feel great. I have never done my makeup like this before and I'm a fan. Emma, you did such a fabulous job. Everyone, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to Maybelline's channel.